Welcome back students to day three of your clay camp. Today's project is going to be our last project of our camp, but it's going to be super fun. It might be a clay you've never used before. Maybe you have used it before. It's a oven baked clay. There's several different kinds of oven baked clay in the market, but we're going to be using Sculpey today. You have several colors in your kit because we're going to be creating a really lovely little rainbow that you actually will be able to hang from something. You can either create it to hang it on the wall. You can make it into a keychain, a backpack charm, anything you like. There's several little jump rings in your kit that even if you have clay left over, you can make a second project. So I hope you like this project. I think it's a lot of fun. Make sure you get a parent's help with the oven. If you're a child, please do not bake these in the oven on your own. Always get an adult's help first. But let's get started and I hope you have fun. Welcome back campers to day three of our clay camp. This is our third and final project, which we're switching to a little bit different clay. This is actually an oven baked clay. This is the brand Sculpey. And as you saw at the beginning of the video, when we're completely done and ready to bake it, you're gonna be baking it in the oven at about 275 for about 15 minutes every quarter of an inch. The sculpture that we're creating today um, when I baked it, it took about 15 to 20 minutes. Just to give you a better idea, you definitely wanna place it on a piece of parchment paper or a piece of foil before you bake it. So this is the one that I already baked. So you wanna make sure that you put it on foil and if not foil on parchment paper. I prefer parchment paper personally, but if you don't have any foil, it'll work just fine. You just don't really wanna be putting this clay on anything that you eat off of. So that's why I am preparing my sculpture today on a plate, paper plate, or you can also create it on whatever work surface you prepared for your last two days of camp. So obviously we know we're making this cute little rainbow. It can be a charm or some sort of an ornament. It will have a jump ring attached to it, which is this little tiny metal ring. So you can hang it on the wall like a sculpture or you can attach it to your backpack or your keychain. You just really have to make sure that the jump rig is in there really good so you don't lose your precious artwork. So inside your kit, you should have all the colors you need for the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and white. And you'll notice that some of the colors you'll have a little bit smaller of a square, especially like the blue and the green because we need a lot less of that. And then you have a couple of extra jump rings in your kit. So if you find you have any clay left over, then you can make another sculpture or something completely different. Um, this clay is also very paintable. So after it comes out of the oven, if you wanna paint it, you can do that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my clay just above, because I'm gonna work on my plate today so it's a little bit easier to see on the white. And then the jump rings are, there's two different kinds actually in your kit. And hopefully you can see them on the camera here. So you have one that is an actual official jump ring. It's just one circle of silver. And then you have one that's more of like a spiral looking one. And these are the kind that you would kind of slightly pry open. And then you'd be able to create like a keychain or a charm where you could put it on a backpack or a set of keys. So the one that you'd be pressing in the clay today is the one that's not the spirally looking keychain one. It's the one that's just a single ring. Okay, that's the one you're gonna be pushing into the rainbow when we're done today. So this is actually a coil project. So we're gonna start with red and we're just gonna start kind of what we call kneading it, kind of smushing it and putting the warmth of our hands into it. This is gonna make it a lot easier to work with. And then once it's a little bit more moldable, I'm just gonna use the palm of my hand to start creating a coil. It's kind of like a skinny French fry shape. So this is what a coil would look like, or a little worm. You can also roll it on your work surface, back and forth, and until you get the desired length of the red. If you wanna use all the red, then let that be your guide of how thick and long to go with that first coil. If you wanna have a little bit left over to make a second little charm, then then just pull a little bit off and then that can be your guide of how big and how long to go. This is actually a pretty big chunk. So this is gonna be a, a fairly good sized charm. So you can see from the palm of my hand, right? So if you wanna make one that's a little bit smaller, then just go ahead and pull half the red off and start from there. And then once you get a pretty nice and even coil going, I'm gonna go a little bit thinner 
a little bit longer for this one. And you can go ahead and start curving it like a rainbow. You can cut off the ends if you'd like, but they're gonna get covered up by the clouds. So it's not completely necessary. But if you wanna make any cuts along the way, you can use your popsicle stick really easily or also a butter knife works really nice too. So now I'm gonna move into the orange. Same thing, you wanna knead it. And you might not need as much of the orange. You'll kind of have to wait and see once you start creating your coil. So I always start in the palm of my hand. You can make the whole thing in the palm of your hand if you want. There was no weighing or precision cuts with providing your kit with this clay. So you might find that you have a little bit more of one color than another. And you just want to make sure that your coils Kind of similar to the first one. And each color is gonna get shorter and shorter. I'm not gonna need as much of the orange as I did of the red. So I'm gonna start off by kind of spreading out the red a little bit wider just to make it easier to line up. And then I'm gonna place the orange in. And that's when your cutting will come in handy. And then now I have some extra that I can create a different little charm with when I'm done. And I just wanna, sorry about that, I was loud, putting that knife down. I'm gonna squish them together so they don't come apart. And then I know I'm not gonna need quite so much yellow, so I'm gonna take a little bit off there. Same thing for every color. You're just gonna match that coil size. The length is gonna be different depending on how much of a curve you have with your rainbow. You can have one that's kind of spread out like I'm doing right now, or you can have it a little bit closer together like this one. So depending on what you wanna create is how long your coils will be. You just want them to be about the same thickness until you get closer to the middle, um, like the green and the blue for them to fit. They're gonna to need to be a little bit smaller, and I mean skinnier, skinnier coils. The yellow's looking pretty good now. I'm just gonna put that in the middle now. Whoops, sorry about that knife. Cut off the ends a little too long. And as you can see, I'm kind of running out of space. So that's when you know you really need to make your green and your blue coils a lot skinnier. And you could also do it just a straight rainbow. It doesn't have to be curved if you wanna use more of the clay. Or you can make a really tiny one. You can make two small ones since you have multiple jump rings in your kit. A little skinnier of a green coil. Right in there. And then just remember to kind of squeeze them together a little bit to make sure they're going to stay. And last but not least, blue. Oh, I forgot to cut off the ends here. This one you'll probably be able to just do in the palm of your hand because it's so small. blue one in there. I don't get my fingernail in it. There we go. Try not to dent it with your fingernail like I just did. Okay, make sure you squeeze them together. So they don't come apart. And then the last but not least, you're gonna be adding the cloud. And for the cloud, I just separate the white evenly into two little spheres, if you want to call them. And then I just start flattening them out. Kind of stretching them. These are really stretchy. I should say this clay is really stretchy. So you just want to kind of flatten and stretch until it reaches the width of the bottom of that rainbow. I also saw a really cute one the other day where one side had a cloud and the other side had a heart. So 
So you could do some different things. It doesn't necessarily have to be just a cloud. And then I just start kind of pushing on one end and then the other to kind of get some of the clay to come out in a more organic kind of cloud shape. Or you can use your toothpick or your knife to cut kind of more of a shape of a cloud. I feel like a toothpick works pretty good. Or even in like um, the end of like a mechanical pencil without the lead sticking out, something really skinny kind of helps get just little tiny pieces out. And then before you attach it, you might want to use your hands to kind of clean up some of the rounded organic shapes of the cloud. And if you're not super happy with your shape of your cloud, just smush it back together and start over. And then you're just going to stick it on the end, apply a little bit of pressure so it doesn't come off later and then do the other side the same and you can I don't know if you can see on the camera but I got a little bit of like green clay color in my white cloud so if you want it to be really pristine and really white you might want to wipe your hands clean or wash them before you do your white cloud because um, you might just have some stuck on the end of your fingers and make sure that that's wide enough, which it is. And then I'm gonna cut a little bit more cloud shape. I just love making rainbows. You know, it makes you feel more positive, kind of cheerful. And then obviously what they stand for. My students always feel happy making rainbows. All right, can I have some kind of different shape clouds here? Let's go this way. This one's a little bit more deformed than I was hoping. There we go. Fix it on this side here. All right, and then I'm just gonna attach it. Really kind of apply some pressure so it doesn't come off later. And then you can continue to shape it as you wish. And then you do wanna kind of gently pick it up and make sure it's not gonna come apart. Everything's kind of squished together. You are gonna have to pick it up to put it in the oven. And then the last thing you're gonna do before you put it in the oven is you're gonna take that jump ring that's not a spiral, it's just a single silver, and you're gonna push it into the top of the rainbow. And you wanna really push it in like at least halfway, because you don't want it to fall out again. So something like that. Oh, get better on the camera here. About halfway. And then also kind of push the red clay around where you put it in there. And even you could use your toothpick to kind of push that clay together even better, almost like smoothing it out right there to close that opening, just to ensure that it doesn't pull out later and you don't lose your artwork off the ring. All right, and that's all there is to it. And now I'm gonna bake it. So if you're a child and doing this project, please make sure you get a parent's help first. You're gonna have your parents preheat the oven for 275. You're gonna put it on a little piece of parchment paper or foil, whatever you have in the kitchen, and put it on a cookie sheet, and then set your timer for 15 minutes. And then after 15 minutes, have mom or dad pull it out, and with like a little paper towel on the end of their finger or something, they can kind of gently touch it and see if it's firmed up enough. And if it still seems really smushy, you might wanna bake it for another five minutes. You can also take it out after 15 minutes and let it dry. It seems a little on the soft side, you can put it back in for another five minutes. And then you'll probably have some leftover clay depending on how big of a rainbow that you made. So that's why you have an extra um, jump ring in your kit. So then you can make another little charm or keychain of your liking, anything that you want. And then just bake it just the same. 275 
for every quarter inch, you wanna do about 15 minutes. I just love oven baked clay. It's really fun and versatile and the colors are really vivid. So if you ever wanna create a project like this again, they sell Sculpey online and at pretty much any art store. So I hope you liked this camp. I hope you liked all the clay projects. I had a lot of fun creating this art with you and we'll see you next time.